So welcome to my workshop of three whole square inches. Today I'm going to show you about wiring an electric guitar and the potential pitfalls that you might come across and how to deal with it. Uh, it's There's lots online, uh, things like explanations of how to wire a pickup and lots of diagrams, but actually you need to kind of see what's going on really to have the confidence to, to, to do it yourself. And you can do this. Um, in the case of components for this particular guitar, the Fender Telecaster, uh, it's a bit like the Trabant, this, you know, three moving parts and a lifespan of 28 years. It's that sort of solid electric guitar and it's a really good one to work on because it's simple and you can see what's happening. So there are five main components. There's the pickups, those two pickups there, the pickup switch, volume control, tone control and output jack, and those five things. If there's something wrong, it's not going to be a biggie to find out what the problem is. So I've just undone the two screws that hold the whole metal plate on. Part of the reason I'm looking at the Telecaster is because you don't need to take the strings off to get the get out the electronics as you do with the Stratocaster or other models. So you can see that there are two potentiometers here or pots for short and the pickup switch, which looks really complicated with lots of spring contacts and lots of potential nasties but actually they're very very tough now if you need to clean uh, something if it's a bit crackly don't swamp it in switch cleaner switch cleaning lubricant that you can just go th because actually it strips all the oil uh, the uh, off the uh, from the manufacturer of the pot so you're better off using this which is an air duster you can get these from Maplin uh, they're really cheap really effective and you just direct the straw into the pots like this. Just give it a bit of a blast of air, waggle the controls and nine times out of ten your problem will vanish. So I'm going to show you how to solder, how to desolder and resolder a joint because actually that's the one thing that lots of people don't get right and that's and it leads to problems with wires breaking off etc. So soldering iron. The first step is you have to get the solder and you have to tin the end of the soldering iron, like that. The reason for this on this particular model is that it brings it to the correct temperature for working with. Now you can use a cheap soldering iron, but they sometimes they're very, very hot. So here is a wire that I'm going to remove. I'm going to remove the this white wire from this pot here. Take photographs of everything you do, or even videos of taking things apart so you can retrace your steps and work out what's, uh, uh, you know, where everything goes. So I'm going to take the wire off here by just heating it gently. Don't hold the iron on a piece of wire or a component for longer than is necessary because you can actually damage it. They're tough though, so don't, don't be scared to do it. So there is my piece of wire and there is my contact that is now bare. You can do this with the other contacts. In order to remove the potentiometer from this guitar, it's just a little screw that appears, a grub screw, and this knurled knob, lift it off, and then a half inch socket. Notice the half inch, it's American, so it's gonna be imperial. Whoa, let's drop it on the floor. And just twist that off, there we go. And out comes the pot. There we go. And it's if you need to replace it, you just take the rest of it off, new one in, and away you go. So I'm just going to put that back on there. Now, when you tighten a pot, you're probably better off just doing it with the socket. If you use the arm of the socket set or a spanner and really crank it up, actually, well, not only can you strip the thread on the pot, but you can actually damage the pot itself. So just go easy, just tight enough. There we go. Now I'm going to solder this wire back on. Now, if this was a virgin wire, as it were, no solder, just copper braiding, what you do with the copper is you twist the strands together so you get a nice wire, uh, and then you retin your soldering iron, give the wire a little bit of solder, and then give the pot tab a little bit of solder, so they've both got fresh solder. And then when you bring them together, you simply heat up the joint and all of that solder will now combine. There we go. And just hold it there briefly. 
if you're quick with a soldering iron, you won't burn yourself. Um, but you can use a pair of long nose pliers if you want to hold the, the wire while you're reconnecting it. So there is the um, wiring from my telecaster. You can see lots of black wires and lots of white wires. In the fender models, you'll find that all the black wires are ground. They are there the earth, which is why they all meet up on this central uh, pot here. Uh, now a potentiometer, why does it have three tabs? It's, you know, it's either it's louder or softer. It should be, you know, one in, one out. Well, actually, it's a bit like a sink where you have a mains water coming in, the tap, and then the plug hole where the water goes down. Imagine that where the water goes down, the plug hole is your ground. The mains, the incoming is the other side. And then however much you turn the tap is what you see on the middle. Uh, the middle uh, co contact of the, the pot. That's a way you could think about it. So um, it's always, it's a good thing to have these sort of analogies because it does actually bring, brings a bit of fun to it and actually it, it gives you a bit of a, um, a comfort in knowing roughly how something works without all the maths and the, the theory. So I'm going to put the screws back on there. There we go. And then hopefully, when I put the screws back on, I need to just quickly stick the uh, the control knob back on the potentiometer as well. When you put the control knob on, put it down onto the pot and then lift it ever so slightly so it just clears the metal. There we go. So, volume control. Tone control. It just rolls all the treble off. And then the switch here decides which pickup you're using. So, at the moment, I'm listening to the bridge pickup. If I move it to the other side. And then in the middle, I get a combination of the two, which doesn't make it louder. It just gives the, it, they just work together to get a, a, a different sound. And there it is. There's the Fender Telecaster electric guitar with its very, very simple construction.